their reward. You have a reward in anything that you do as a human being. In whichever way you deserve to be rewarded or whatever, that one is up to you. When you do a good job, you will be rewarded with something good. And if you do a bad job, you know what will come. No matter what, you have a benefit. And the benefit is that you are to receive either good or bad reward. Hallelujah. Amen. From the very thing that you have done around the line. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. But we as Christians, we are supposed to do the good things that will yield us a very good result at the end of the day. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. God bless you. So quickly let's have open our Bible to Proverbs chapter number 17. Verse 18. 17. Hallelujah. Chapter number 17. Verse number 13. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, as usual, I'll read the key first and then I'll also read the English which Reverend Bill will do the gun reading after this. Amen. Make him feel us. Near all the bodies of Papa and Nelly, one in five if you got. Near all the bodies of Papa and Nelly, one in five if you got. Amen. Yes. Whoever rewards evil for good, evil will not be power. From his house. Whoever rewards evil for good, evil will not depart from his house. Amen. Amen. Yes, you are in Oana Mukanoye, a bed, a bed, or you eat to the market power. Who will eat the market eating? Money more, a phone to a company, a phone bar, ye a week. Amen. Monimo, a phone to a papa, a young man, a phone bar, yea, a week. Monimo, a phone, a papa, a young man, a phone, it is from a papa. Hallelujah. Whoever was evil for good, evil would not depart from his house. In this case, we have his or her. So from this, or her house. Hallelujah. Yeah. So if someone do you good, you need to know what the person has done for you and at least show something for that person to see that they did whatever he or she has done for you. You have appreciated them. And for that matter, he or she will be happy to do more for you. But sometimes people will be doing good things to people and at the end of the day, what they get is insults. Because there's so many harsh words, hallelujah, which will be coming from that person's end to the one who did a good thing, which is very bad. This is what we should know. The outcome, whenever we do that, the reward that we are going to get at the end of the day. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes we do it and we don't know the implications. After you have done this to the person, even though the person has done you good at the end of the day, you try to pay the person back with evil. And according to the word of God, you will suffer a reward. <laughs> it's not for you to enjoy a reward you are going to suffer more a reward 
Praise God. Hallelujah. This is what we need to know. If you don't know it, fine. But when you get to know them and you try to go by all directions, things will be fine for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. God bless you. That just said, don't buy three million and say, what are you calling? I said, Papa, I need money. Money for you. For their phone. They can buy a million. They can buy a million. They can buy a million. Never try to pay good with evil. Because when you do that, evil will never depart from your house, from your workplace, wherever you find yourself. You are going to suffer for that. Evil will always be in your house. When we talk of your house, it doesn't mean that when you have a house in a room, a particular apartment here, and you leave this place, and you go to another place, then you left your room to other place, so that evil has left you. This very house that we are talking of, or Bible is telling us is that your life, evil will never depart from your life. Always wherever you find yourself, evil will follow you. In all that you do, you want to visit what? Evil. So that is how it is. Hallelujah. <laughs> Please, with respect, take note that tomorrow we are starting our fasting from Monday to Friday. Hallelujah. <laughs> I cannot tell you the day that the anointing service will come. But even from tomorrow, Testimony will be coming out. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our miracle is going to come out from this fast. Hallelujah. Amen. So make sure you fast. If you are someone who will never fast, please, at least tomorrow, try to do small. Hallelujah. Amen. Fast small so that you receive your what? Your reward. Not this one, but I'm talking of a good reward. Today's one, it can be good or bad, hallelujah. Yeah. But as for tomorrow going, I was tomorrow onward, that one is different, hallelujah. Yeah. So God bless you, amen. Yeah. Mm. Never try to pay someone who has done you good with evil because it will go after you and you will suffer. Sometimes when it happens like that, you will see the person will be happy because he or she is talking it. ill about someone. Hallelujah. Amen. Even though the person has done good to that person, he doesn't care, she doesn't care. Only the evil which he or she has planned against the person is seen. By she look, that we have a maker who is watching on this planet and that we live on. And he's seeing whatever we are doing here. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 They have done me evil. Even though I have done them good. Yes, 
be excited to do the evil. But let me tell you something. Because there is God, there is no way you will offend someone who has been of help to you before and goes for free. It will never happen because there is God. According to God, one plus one is two. And it is always going to be like that. Two plus two is four. And it is always going to be like that. It doesn't change. So no matter what, whatever God has said, it is good to is what is coming to pass in your life. And so when you do good, good will come back to you. And when you do bad, bad will follow you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are the people that Almighty God has made that we will dwell on this planet earth and do the will of His. Instead, we go contrary and try to do what will please Satan. Because whenever we do evil, it's like we are creating something special for Satan. And has got to be at the end of the day. So please make sure anyone who will do you good. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't turn your back to that person. Make sure you show to the person that whatever he or she are standing for you. You don't appreciate it. And for that matter, you don't do anything that will help a person. Amen. Amen. You see, when you pay evil, Hallelujah. To that who had a person by hand for you, you are going to suffer so many things which are not favorable to you. against us. We may think 
God is not good. Hallelujah. But God is good. But because he has um, putting down some benches. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the rules and then the regulations are there, the rocks are there for you to follow. And so, if you go contrary or you contract it, hallelujah, whatever is God is asking you to do, then you are going to face it. The consequence, hallelujah. Amen. I want to ask you, look at Psalm 109 from verses 4 to 15. Psalm 109. <coughs> when you think good with people, what you get? All the experiences. Hallelujah. So one is already nine, four, two, 